Now I'll preface this video by saying yes, it's only been two games, there's a whole bunch more time left, so I don't want to overreact, however, that cannot excuse what exactly it is that we saw in tonight's action. It was not great. My overall encompassing thoughts of this game are pretty much just, yeesh, what a game that was, Montreal. I want you to go out there into the comment section and use this comment section as a, I don't know, a venting session, I guess. Just a way for you to voice your concerns. It has only been two games for the Habs in the season so far. And yesterday was the first game. Today was the second game. This was a back-to-back. -back. We had Montembeau in net. The guys looked tired. They definitely were not at 100%. And, I mean, it showed, like, based off of how they played in tonight's action against the Buffalo Sabres. Guess what? Buffalo comes out here, one of the worst teams in the past decade, no Jack Eichel, all this controversy surrounding them, they lose out on Casey Middlestad too, and the score is 5-1 Sabres! If you watch the highlights of these goals that went in, You'll see just a whole bunch of showcases where the Sabres had the puck on a string. They were just going back and forth and back in and around upside down the Montreal Canadiens, and the Habs just didn't really have a fighting chance. They had a goal, yes, it was Chris Weidman who put the puck in on the side after a very weird bounce or two in front, and aside from that, I mean, there was a Cole Caulfield chance on a power play that looked really nice, but... This was Buffalo's game, dude. Holy, you talk about games where you can tell one team is on the second half of a back-to-back. -back. You could tell the Montreal Canadiens were on the second half of a back-to-back. -back. And I'll admit, I didn't watch this game in its entirety. I was switching between this game, my own personal hot team, and the Red Wings game, as well as the Leafs and the Kraken game. I was trying to watch a whole bunch of hockey today just because I was like, yeah, I kind of need to get back in the groove of switching consistently between channels and all that, trying to see what's going on in the hockey world. But this one stood out to me as one of the most lopsided games on the schedule tonight, aside from, of course, maybe Detroit-Tampa Bay for the first half, we'll get into that a little bit later into the night, though, so if you're a Red Wings fan, don't worry, I got a lot to say about Raymond Insider, but when it comes to Montreal, dude, 0-2-0 to start off the regular season, I get it, it's only been two games, but this game was definitely not one you would have expected out of the reigning Stanley Cup finalists in the Montreal Canadiens. Everybody looks so... Uh, I don't know what's the word, defeated? Like, Cole Caulfield looked pretty good on that one chance, but Tyler Toffoli hasn't looked great. Alexander Romanov certainly is not as good as we thought he would be. Montembeau, I mean, he was in relief of a goaltender. He was picked off of waivers. What do you want out of this guy anyway? And then the systems, the overall engagement. This just was not a game that you really would have thought the Canadians still had in their system, you know? Like, I thought absolute blowouts to some of the worst teams in the NHL were like... 2019, 2020 material. We're at the start of the 21-22 season. Why are we still doing this? Big ups, though, to the Buffalo Sabres because they actually played a pretty solid game. I'll tell you this, if I was a Buffalo Sabres fan and I watched this game live, I was in the arena cheering on the team. There were a lot of empty seats, unfortunately, which is... I mean, considering the circumstances of the team, I guess I can understand why they didn't really sell out all their tickets. Or maybe they did, I'm not too sure, I just saw a whole bunch of empty seats in the front lower bowl over there. I would have loved this game. All the cheering going on for guys like Tage Thompson doing the thing and Rasmus Dahlin looked fantastic. It's just, when you're going up against the reigning Stanley Cup finalists, you definitely expect a little bit more of a fight. So... Yeah, this is just a video going out there. Hey, comment section is your floor. Talk about what it is that you want if you're a Canadiens fan. However, even though this game in particular was really bad, it's not the end of the world. It's only game two out of 82. We've got 80 more games to go. At least the Habs looked great yesterday in Toronto at the start of that game, right? We know what this team has in the tank. It's just so unfortunate that it's always the tanking teams that go out there and take them out. It's very funny how that works. Detroit, Buffalo, all this stuff it's a pattern, isn't it? Talk to me in the comments, what did you think about tonight's Montreal Canadiens action? I gotta go back and start watching Detroit Tampa Bay again, because that is a very, very good hockey right there. I hope you enjoyed this video, so that's Trolls 99, and bye.